So, there are hundreds if not thousands of Linux distributions out there. Some of them are good, like Silverblue that I'm using right now in Fedora in general. And some of them are... not so good. And some of them are amazing, really helpful for some people, but not a lot of people know about them. So today I actually want to take some time to showcase one of my favorite distros of all time, or a family of distros, shall I say. That's right, today we'll be talking about the Antix family of Linux distros. So if we head over to my desktop and go to antixlinux.com, uh, you can see that their website is not really beautiful, shall I say, it's not really recent or anything. It's not bad by any means, uh, but yeah, this is Antix Linux. And as they say here, it's an environment suitable for old and new computers. So where is Antix? Well, Antix is based on Debian Stable and it uses four, I think, window managers. Their default one is the ICE window manager. And it's basically when a sysadmin designs a Linux distro. So it has graphical tools for everything, quite literally everything, even for customizing the desktop, all of that, graphical everything, which is pretty fantastic. They don't have an actual software center, but what they have is an applet or a mini app uh, that allows you to update the system. Uh, you just click on it, it search for updates, it does everything automatically. So before I tell you a lot about it, Let's actually take a look at it. So, we're currently booting Antix Linux. This is version 23.164 bit, uh, which was released on the 21st of February 2024. And uh, the default option is to use the legacy kernel. There's also an option to use the modern kernel. I think I'm gonna use the modern kernel. Yeah. So, let's hit enter on that. We're gonna do normal boot. And. Yep, we are currently booting. Now, this loading screen is probably very familiar to you, anyone who's used MX Linux. MX Linux is another lightweight di Linux distro, which actually is a shared effort between their development team and Antix's develop development team. So, that's why I'm saying a family of distros. It's Antix and MX. MX is more towards the mid-range computers because it uses the XFC desktop and it has some other eye candy. Antix is more towards the potato computers. So, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna launch the ICE Window Manager Settings Manager, uh, which I'm pretty sure it's th their own tool. And I'm gonna go to Window Ma- no, to... where is it? Why can't I find it? Oh, it's probably not here, right? It's under Applications, Antix... Mm. Uh, <laughs> I know that there is enough for changing the screen resolution. I'm sure about that. But where is it? <laughs> is the updater, is the soft... Oh, so they have an actual software installer. Oops, I was wrong. Uh, it's probably somewhere in here, right? Control Center? Oh, okay. That's different app as it turns out. Antics Control Center was again their own app. And I'm gonna go down to... To Session, set screen resolution with a render. Right click, resolution. 1920 by 1080 hit apply and here we are now the desktop as you can see is a bit uh, corrupted right now which is why i'm gonna go and change the wallpaper a couple of times uh, center fill nope I'm honestly not sure why this isn't working right now. The wallpaper is all weird. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and launch the installer right now. I'll just go through it really quickly. As you can see, this is their own uh, installer. So let's change the time zone to Europe, Athens. That next. Type in my super secret and secure password. And that's it. So now, not even a minute after I hit the install button, uh, we're installing Grub. So the installation has actually almost finished. As you can see here, 96%, 97, which is the initial uh, file system that boots from RAM to start up the OS. <laughs> so 97% done, 99, boom, finish, and that's it. Antix is now 
fully installed and ready to use right out of the box. Let's boot this up and I'm gonna type in my username and my password, hit enter and we are logged in. So first things first, let's go again to the control center and to session, uh, set screen resolution, resolution 1920 by 1080 apply that and we're gonna have to deal with the whole artifacts I guess. Now as you can see Antics has a lot of tools built in that most distros don't. For example we can go ahead and customize our login manager which is slim SKI. I can select my user to be the default and we can preview the themes we have. This is the default one. Uh, we also have this one which I honestly love and there are a ton of other. I think this was the default, or at least the background was the default with version 21. I honestly can't remember. Have Dark City. Yeah, we have a lot of them. Pretty Pink. <sighs> I really like this, honestly. <laughs> and we have Sunny Day. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use Antics Ice and I'm gonna do Apply. And now, if we go ahead and log out. We should have the... Yep, here we go. And my user is also selected by default. So I'm just gonna sign in. And yep, we've signed in. But we need to change once again the screen resolution. And we have a lot of options here. We have the password prompt. Uh, yep, we can change the image that Grab uses. We have uh, a clipboard manager which I just activated. We have a lot of wallpapers, we have themes. I forgot to put this on the not disturb. We have an updater, a package installer, have a repo manager, a program remover. We can manage our packages. So let's go to the package installer, for example. As you can see here, we can browse apps that we would use, for instance, LibreOffice. And here it is. So we shouldn't have it by default. Oh no, it's actually installed by default. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened there. It says that it's not installed. Uh, let's search for the Vivaldi browser and here it is and we can install it straight from here, which is perfect. We have an updater, which as you can see here, it's updating. <laughs> it's actually looking for updates right now. And uh, we have the Ice Window Manager Control Center, which is the one that I was browsing earlier and I had no idea what it was. We can auto hide the toolbar, we can change stuff. I saw the names, quick launch icons. Oh, we have 161 updates, so I'm gonna do automatic update and it's just doing everything automatically. I don't have to select yes or anything, it's perfect. We have workspace manager. We can change the sys tray. We can disable and enable these little applets over there. Change the clock. We have a bazillion of uh, options. We can change the theme. We have a ton of themes. Let's do the Antics Green Small. Why not? Nah, I don't like it. Uh, Antics Blue Huge. I don't like this either. Uh, let's do Pretty Pink Small. Yeah, that's, that's pretty nice, honestly. Let's just keep that. Uh, we have auto start applications, recent files. And uh, yeah, we can change. Uh, we can connect to Wi Fi straight from here. Uh, share files, configure auto mount, we have a live USB maker, we can image our partitions, synchronize directories, we have all these driver options, we can get a uh, full system information straight from here, we're running kernel 6.1.60 antics, we can install the NVIDIA drivers straight from here, no need to do anything, and of course make a nicer snapshot of our system, back it up, edit everything, just it works. I also love how it says do not close this window over here because yeah, we're updating. We shouldn't close the window. Now, file manager. I think that they use a weird file manager, honestly, and I can't remember the name of it, uh, but I think that it is the one that comes included with the rocks terminal, which is here, rocks term. Yeah, it's rocks filer. And as you can see, we should have NeoFets pre-installed or FastFets. We don't, okay. So that's what I'll be installing later. But as you can see, we're using the bus cell, but it's configured to look nice. Now, I believe that MX comes with a ZSH cell, but it's okay. And also I do believe that uh, kernel 6.1.60 is a bit behind what MX uses. I think that generally Antics is a bit behind MX, but they use pretty much the same stuff. Also just realized that the time is completely off. It's currently 8.32, not 11.32. Uh, let's go again to the control center 
we'll go to system set date and time uh, set current time no choose time zone mm, didn't work set current time okay uh, <laughs> the correct hour okay it's 8 perfect 32 perfect so we updated that we can quit um, yeah, as you can see, we're currently updating and we have a lot of languages pre-installed, as you can see. Wow, I didn't know that, honestly. But yeah, we have a nice little conky here on the desktop that tells us a lot about our system, um, our screen resolution, if we have auto mode enabled, how much CPU percentage we're using, uh, the frequency, everything, honestly. Even swap information. We can configure all these uh, apps here. Uh, or we can configure which apps we want to be there using this little tool, which is Azure Window Manager Toolbar Icon Manager. We can add, remove, move, everything. We have an expose view from clicking this button. Now, this is not the prettiest thing in the world, obviously, but it's so usable. Everything just works out of the box. Like, it has a lot of applications pre-installed. That's, that's true, it has some games. Uh, it, I think it doesn't have GIMP, but it has like other apps. Uh, we have, we obviously have Firefox, this ESR, we have a lot of multimedia stuff, office software, uh, a lot, even programming stuff like Vim and uh, Genie. Okay, my system is now updated, which means that we can actually reboot uh, here. So we rebooted, I installed uh, NeoFetch, since FastFetch is not in the Debian repositories, and as you can see, this is in fact Debian 12, and yeah, we're using the Antics kernel. And we have a lot of packages by default, that's, that's true, we have over a thousand packages. Uh, we have 1,752 packages and uh, yeah, but we're using around 250 megabytes of RAM, so it's not that bad. So, why did I make this video in the first place? Because I honestly wanted to showcase Antix Linux. Now, this is the best showcase, I didn't really talk a lot about it, I just installed it and just look through the different apps and utilities that it has. So yeah, this is not initial thoughts by any means or a review or anything. I just honestly want to showcase this project. It's a Greek project actually, uh, which is fully localized into English because I only use English for my computers. So I couldn't find anything that's not in English, which is good and which isn't the case for a lot of the Chinese made distros. But eh. Uh, and Antics has actually saved a lot of my computers just because of how lightweight it is and that it has everything pre-configured straight out of the box, the amazing tools that it has. Now for most people, MX Linux is going to be a better choice. It's going to have the same exact tools, uh, it's just going to be prettier, uh, a little bit more up to date, more stable and everything. But it can't run on all computers. So that's exactly where Antics comes in and saves everything. So that's about it. This is just a super quick video to just say that hey, Antics is amazing and a lot of people should actually consider it when choosing a distro for those really underpowered uh, computers because I was using LXLE which I'm not even sure if it's still a thing. Let me go and search it. Huh. Huh. What? Hold up. LXLE actually has releases? Okay, the latest one is Focal Fossa which is two releases behind so yeah, probably it's dead. But. I wasn't expecting that. I was honestly expect expecting the last one to be 1804. But no, it's 2004. Wow. But anyways, that's about it. Uh, I hope that this video makes sense. Uh, sorry if I seem a bit off and not talking a lot. It's just because I'm extremely tired and I wasn't planning on recording anything today. But I actually had to because this is an amazing project and I want to showcase it because I honestly can't find a lot of videos about Antics on YouTube and ODC and it deserves to be known. <laughs> so yeah, this is not a review, this is not my thoughts, uh, oh, they are my thoughts but not initial thoughts or anything. But yeah, Antics Linux is honestly amazing. I don't have anything else to say about it. Extremely lightweight, amazing tools and super easy to use. The install took less than a minute honestly. So yeah, that's about it from me, you can expect more content coming soon and better because let's be honest, this is just a, just a tiny video about antics and how I love it. But yeah, have a good one, peace out.